Hello. <laughs> for, for those that were not on the first half a second stream, I couldn't get it connected. For some reason, it did a, a whirly bird thing and said it couldn't connect. That was outside. The second time I tried to come on there, I lasted for, what, about 30 minutes? And then that temperature thing came up on this phone, my iPhone, which that's never happened before. So I'll have to Google that and find out because it is really hot outside. And I know that doing these live streams and everything on your phone, it takes up a lot of the battery. So maybe that plus the temperature outside just overheated it. Similar to my cheeks here that are still flushed from the heat outside. So I do apologize. Thank you to the gals who were on there, Rebecca and best friend of my thread. And there was a couple other people on there, but they didn't make themselves known. So whoever you are, thank you so much. I'm sorry it cut out on us. So uh, this is the continuance of the Wavelength Wednesday. And since I didn't really have anyone um, in there, you know, this was just kind of a, a trying to figure it out kind of thing here for the live stream. Uh, the Wavelength Wednesday premise is going to be where you can kind of talk about whatever you want. If there's any kind of issues, concerns, whatever that you want to talk about. Um, I mean, try to keep it positive. But if there's something that, that's worrying you, bothering you, maybe you're having technical difficulties like I am today. Um, you know, we can we can use that time to talk about it on Wavelength Wednesdays. So um, that is the premise. Now, since it, I've already kind of talked about that on the first portion of that stream, I'm going to move on to the actual supply haul, which I was in the throes of doing before the phone overheated. Thank God it didn't blow up on me like the ones that you see on the world news, because then we'd have problems. <laughs> so um, I am going to now I've got to figure out a way. To, to move this camera to where you guys can see what I'm seeing. So let me think on that for just a moment because I don't have my little um, gorilla pod. I guess I'll just have to hold it for you guys, which is going to be kind of a pain because you cannot see this stuff. Um, especially when I get out the stickers and stuff. So, hmm. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I guess what I could do is just show you the cases and hold hold it with my hand. And I do apologize because you're, you're going to see all kinds of crazy here in my office. Let me pull this up here now. And here we go. Okay, let's see if you can see it. There we are. Okay, so as long as I do it like this, it's going to kind of be a little bit warbly, I guess, but you'll be able to see it. So what I was talking about, um, when I went to Michael's, I had ordered these cases. I really like these cases in particular because they have 23 compartments, but they're it's a really sturdy case. And they're normally $14.99 per case, but I got four of them at 40% off all at one time because I did that where you order online but they ship it to the store. So because I did that, you got 40% off of all of your regular price stuff in that order. Whereas if I had gone to the store, I could only use my 40% off coupon on one of these cases at each time I go into the store. So that would have meant four trips to the Michaels to get four of these cases. So I really like that option to order online and it worked out nicely. They had my order actually in the framing department, which in my location was at the back of the store. So this is what I've got. It's a storage. Uh, it's a bead box. It has 23 compartments and then the handle section right here. It's a really nice sturdy handle. You have the two little uh, flippy do's here so you can close it and they stay good and closed. And then you have a little section up here. Oh gosh, hopefully you can see. Ooh, man, I don't know. Can you see it? There we go. <laughs> so this section here is where you can put your tools or if you have those long strands of beads, you can put that in there as well. So there is that big case. Then I got this case. This is actually a project case. 
and hopefully you can see that the light's kind of in the way. This is a project case and it is a six by six so that I can put my little paper pads in there. It has a couple of the little um, closures right here so that you can actually close it and it not come undone on you. But I got these so that I can put some of my beading kits in it. Whenever I do earrings or I've got kits that I take with me to the group parties that I do, I will actually put those in a container like this. So I, I can just put this container into my bag and I know what kits are in here. They're already uh, organized for me. So that is handy. Now the next thing here, let me see. I'm going to I'm going to use this now, oh my goodness, to, to try, see if this will work, oh that won't work, I was going to try, <laughs> you all are at a weird angle aren't you, yeah that's not going to work Monica, okay, I was going to try to get that propped up on that box, but that's not going to work, so here's another case, this is the organizer. Now, this I got at um, the Dollar Tree. This is by a company called Jot, and they have a lot of cool things. And this one I like. It also has a closure, but they have some really deep compartments, and they're different compartments, and they are attached. So there's not any kind of little gaps. The dividers don't come out. So you don't have to worry about anything that you put in here mixing together with other things. And there are, let's see, three, six, nine compartments in here of varying sizes. So I really like these. And the cool thing about this is that they are stackable. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little dip right here, a little ditch right here in the center. So when you have more than one of these, which I don't have any handy. You can just stack on top because the top here, you can see that. See how that has like a little mound in the center? The top grabs hold of whatever you put on top of it and they just stack on top of each other rather than being flat. So it's really nice. It contains everything and that little, um, that little hump right there keeps them all together so that they don't just slide off of one another if you have several, which I do. And so you can't beat that for a dollar. All right, so there is one of the. Now, let me see if I can set that up on this one. I don't think that's going to work, man. Yeah, you're still at a weird angle if I do that. So I apologize. It looks like I'm going to have to hold everything. This is really a, a weird stream, guys. I, I'm sorry about that. Next thing I got was this pop-up hamper and I got this at the Dollar Tree. This is really handy for whatever laundry that you have. I howl or something and I, I can't get it over to the main hamper. I just throw it in here and then I can take this whole hamper if I want to immediately downstairs and wash whatever's in it or over into the main hamper in our main bathroom. So that is kind of handy. They do break quite frequently if you overload them. So I'm just going to warn you now. I have some stickers and I got several of the pop-up stickers. I thought they were really cute. They had some summery ones. This one, this set of stickers is awesome. Whoops. There, can you see? Wow, this is crazy. The angles are odd. Okay, so here I have like little hats and Little summery type things. I love these little flip flops right here. They're so cute. And the flamingo and the popsicle and all that. And then the pop up stickers. So they have dimension to them. And it's just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Again, this company named Jot. The Dollar Tree has a lot of their merchandise in their store. And man, they came up with a lot of cool stuff. So there is the summer stickers. I got these that have wine bottles on them. I don't really, I don't ever drink wine, but I just thought these were really pretty. And they have glitter on the flowers. So those are nice. Again, those were pop-up stickers. These are beautiful. They're like a kind of a vintage, vintage uh, pot. And it has glitter on it. Although you may not actually be able to see that due to this crazy angle here. But they have peonies, I think, are what these little flowers are. I thought the colors were really pretty, and man, it's just really nice. And this one is Dream Little Things, Life is Beautiful and Wonderful. That's all glittery and stuff. I loved it because it has this little mason jar sticker right here with a flower in it, and their pop-up. 
These, I believe, are hydrangea flowers. Uh, I'm not really 100% positive on that, but they have the coloring and the little tiny blossoms that are kind of in a big bouquet, like a big bush, bushy thing, which reminds me of those. They might actually be creeping flocks, though. I don't know. If anybody knows, <laughs> make sure you, you leave that down there in the description. But it's really cute. And they also have some glitter on the flowers and stuff. You can feel that, feel the glitter. You can't see it really well here. Again, I'm sorry about that. This whole stream here kind of threw me off after the technical difficulty. This is really cute, although I will have to say I wish I could have had the entire bicycle on this. So they only give you the bicycle tire and the little basket of flowers in that set. But it's still really cute. You get some flower pots and stuff with the, the flowers and the glitter and some butterflies. So that's really cute. I like that. It's different. You don't get to see that a lot. These are just some little alphabets, some little letters in different colors. And they have some numbers on here um, towards the back. So it's all of your letters plus some numbers. And I got the other font. This is a more kind of a rounded font here than the other one. Just kind of like to do things like that to decorate packages or, or cards. Now this is the, um, the foil. Oh, goodness. There we go. The foil stickers, which is really hard to see here because of the lighting and the cellophane. But I got these because they have little cacti on them. I don't know if you can see. There's one little, whoops, there's one little guy right there. And then there is another little, what looks like a little girl. Can you see that? Okay. So uh, that is most of the stickers let's see i think i got one more oh, actually i got a few more they're butterflies oops i got more of the letters so you've already seen those these are butterflies how cool are these look at that they are actual 3d stickers i don't know if you can tell that but their little wings pop up on the top layer they look real and they've got the little kind of the metallic shimmer on the background. Again, these are from Dollar Tree and it's from a company named Jot and they come up with all kinds of cool things. But they have um, like oranges and browns and I just love that. I think I thought those are so pretty. Now, I usually will do things like these 3D stickers. Um, <laughs> thank you, best friend in your thread. I just saw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm struggling. I'm struggling here. Uh, yes, please go ahead and, and eat. You don't don't feel like you have to stay here for all these shenanigans because it's weird angles and everything. Since I got since I had my technical difficulties, I do apologize, gal. But thank you so much for coming back. Um, these are little stickers here, though, that I like to put on the the tops of my gift boxes and my cards and things that I do for some of my beating customers. This is blue. I love how these look. Look at that. It's got orange and yellows and blues, different shades of blues. There's even a little bit of purple in there. So I think these are my favorite. Butterflies. Actually, these are my favorite of all the stickers, the blue, the blue butterflies. So I had those two. Whoops. Oh, goodness. There we go. Again, I'm sorry for the weirdo angles here. All right, so there are the butterflies. I got a fed. Boy, I could have used this outside. I don't, I don't know why I didn't put batteries in there <laughs> and, and take it outside. I actually had one of these a long time ago, and I cannot find it anywhere. But, you know, typically you have some things that are um, like operate on a motor. They will not last very long, but the little fan that I got before, I mean, I had it like 10 years ago. It lasted a long time and it was a dollar store thing. So I, I got this one again, just because it's getting so hot out there. I'm going to fire it up, put some little batteries in there and fire that puffy up. Those are handy, handy little contraptions. Now, because I teach classes, and I do some mixed media classes in addition to my beading classes where I teach how to make jewelry. I do some mixed media stuff where we make cards. And sometimes I will even have it like you can do some watercolor, watercolor painting. 
And I saw this at the Dollar Tree and thought I would give this a shot here for my kits and my um, my little artist palettes that we have for the students sometimes when they make their cards and stuff. So that's what this is. You can put your little colors in each little round dome section and put your water in there and dip your brush in. So I'm excited to try that. You get six of these for a dollar. And really, you don't need anything larger than this. And the cool thing about this is that when I have a class like this, I just give this little palette to each individual student. That way they can just put a piece of saran wrap or something over top of the color that they have already during the class. They don't have to remix anything if they need to continue working or maybe they want to make a second card or whatever project it is that we're working on. They have their own little palette with their colors that are already set up until they use up all of the color. And there you go. So this is really cool. Um, I haven't seen these before at the Dollar Tree. So I only got one of them because I only have usually I only have between six to twelve. Sometimes I have 13 to 14 people in classes, but it's usually about six. So six being the magic number. I just got one pack. And um, now I know I can go back for more because these are quite expensive if, if you order these at Amazon or something. So way to go, Dollar Tree. And what else do I have in here? I got a makeup brush, y'all. <laughs> I don't ever even wear makeup, but they had a kabuki brush and I thought that I would try that out. I have actually had one of these before from the Dollar Tree. That's a great idea. I like that little palette. Yeah, they're so cool. Um, but I teach classes, so I, you know, I don't want these palettes back because I can get them at the Dollar Tree now. I just let them take them because a lot of times they want to continue painting whenever they leave the class. So this is a, a good little thing they can use. Quality though, it it lasted me. I didn't have any problems with it. And I'm not a makeup guru, y'all. So um, you know, don't get too excited. <laughs> I won't be doing any kind of makeup to that's what I'm hoping you you ladies that are in the beauty community will do if you uh, so choose to join the group here. But that is my little haul, I think. I don't think I have anything else. Oh, oops, I lied. I got one more thing. I got earbuds that have its own little case. And look, look, y'all, it's got sparkles. It's got sparkles. Oh, it, I, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even on my sparkly channel and I got excited. So this apparently it has its own little case which matches the earbuds so that I can easily identify this. If, if My husband will typically throw my earbuds and things in a drawer and I can never find them ever again. So since it's in its own little case, I'm excited about that. Looking forward to testing those out. I will listen a lot of times to your all's videos when I'm playing the playlist. And if, uh, you know, if I'm down there while he's watching TV, but I'm watching you guys on my Kindle or something, I'll pop in the headphones. But these earbuds I wanted to test out and see. Sometimes these types of things might hurt my ears, but I'm going to give it a shot um, as opposed to headphones, because then I have to deal with them being over the top of my head. And be, maybe it might be too tight because I do have rather large head. <laughs> uh, I would like to say it's because it contains such a large brain, but I don't know about that. The headphones, though, sometimes will give me a headache. So these, hopefully, they, they have like a soft, squishy thing here on the co the cover that actually goes in my ear. Hopefully, they will not irritate my ear. But it's only a dollar, and it comes with a case. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it sparkles. Love it. So now I'm going to try to flip this camera back around because I believe now that really is all that I got. Yeah. That is all I got besides some bubble mailers. I did get a few bubble mailers from the Dollar Tree to ship my jewelry stuff. Um, not very exciting there. So now I'm going to flip this around. I apologize for whatever you're about to see here in my room because it's messy. It's messy, y'all. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord. This is this has been a rough, a rough live stream. I'm so sorry. Oh, there you go. Now you ceiling, seeing my ceiling fan. <sighs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. We're back. We're back, y'all. We're back. It's crazy time. I'm sorry. Okay. So I think you all can see my messy desk area and me. I really I don't like that angle, but sorry. Can't do can't do anything for you on that. Let me try. Is that any better? Yes, that's better. Okay, we'll take it. 
So <laughs> I did, I got a lot of cool things, but man, the Dollar Tree is awesome. I think probably the most exciting have to be my butterfly stickers. I'm really excited about these, especially the blue ones. My brand colors are blue and pink. So I do like a turquoise blue and a fuchsia pink. And when I decorate my jewelry boxes, which I just happen to have one right here. This is not, I usually have a fuchsia color and then kind of a turquoise blue color. But I like. Of the box, the lid, so that when you take your lid off of your box, you can see all kinds of goodness, but all of your stuff is inside, so it's not like it's taped onto the box directly so that you have to tear it or rip the, the decoration and stuff. So I like to do that. I love your organization, they're super cute. Thank you so much. Well, I'm telling you, um, I feel really bad about the live stream being so screwed up today. <laughs> Maybe, you know, there's a reason why I should plan these out and schedule them out a little bit better, which I will eventually do um, once I get that pegged down. Like I said, it's it's going to be the Marketing Mondays or the Wavelength Wednesdays for sure, unless I have an announcement or something that I need to make and I need to jump on here um, pretty quick. But um, apparently the iPhone live streaming is not going to be ideal outside during the summertime here in El Paso. So, and I, I had never done live streaming before until this, this year. Um, so last summer I had never done it. Usually when I film videos with my iPhone and everything, I am outside and I've never had it shut down on me for temperature or anything like that. Uh, but I guess when you do the live streams, you got to worry really bad about your battery, even if it's fully charged and your battery on the cell phone, if it's really hot outside, it'll overheat. So there's a couple of tips for you on a Wavelength Wednesday. How, how about that? <laughs> I will make all the mis Ooh, I will make all the mistakes for you guys. That way you don't have to worry about it. Oh, you're so sweet, best friend in your thread. Thank you so much for coming back on this crazy. Uh, you know, actually, this is technically this is the third attempt today. I still don't know what happened on the first attempt. Um, but thank you, thank you so much for coming back. And hopefully, I will have things better prepared for the next stream so um i think it's been almost 30 minutes so at 30 minutes i'm going to go ahead and jump off of here but if you have anything that you want to talk about when you when you see these announcements for wavelength wednesdays jump in here and say whatever you'd like to um best friend in your thread do you have any concerns or issues or feelings that you want to discuss here in the next few minutes that you'd like to that you'd like to say you've been very sweet i just cannot believe how precious you are i really appreciate it because you tweeted that out the other crazy stream and you're helping me figure out the, the songs that are popping into my head i just love that thank you but is there anything that you want to talk about if so feel free to discuss uh when these things switch over from live streams into video land Please remember to pop over there and leave whatever little comments and things that you might want to um, pop a like on the video. If you've not already done so, I would really appreciate that. And if you know any crafty creator friends out there, um, I have all sorts of information in the various videos that I've posted so far here at the channel. So it explains, you know, well, what giving out virtual hugs. So here's a big one. Thank you so much. Best friend in your thread. <laughs> I appreciate that. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, you make me want to craft something, girl. Yes, craft. Well, you know, you had the video where you're talking about doing your little hairdo that you have there and everything. So, hey, um, you know, whatever you want. You have, I think there's a crafty video that I popped in there because I did your intro your intro video, but because you have some hair and makeup type stuff, that's what I, I was thinking maybe you might want to share here. I don't know. It's totally up to you. And again, um, if, if I have snagged one of your all's videos, whoever is watching this, because I'm trying to let you all know when I do it. So it's not just, Oh, where's my video going? Uh, if you don't want to be a part of the crafty creators, 
absolutely no pressure at all. Uh, if you don't want your video popped into the playlist that I have, the handmade crafty creator support, you know, feel free to message me. Um, <laughs> I hope you do craft something. I hope you do. If you are just here and you're just wanting to hang out to talk about or, or listen to and watch cre creative people discussing their hobbies and their art forms and stuff, you know, I welcome everyone. So we're cool there. Uh, there I will make targeted attempts at people who are making crafty tutorials in whatever your art form or craft is. I have something small I'm making for people. I just haven't announced it. Woo! So we we'll, we can have a premiere for best friend in your thread. Yeah, I love it. Woo! That's so anything crafty. I love. So um, I mean, it's nothing much, but I want to get a few made before I tell everyone what it is. Well, hey, you know, when I started making jewelry, this was totally. I had no. I had no intention of being a, a jewelry maker. I sure didn't think I'd ever be teaching it. And I tell all of my students whenever they sign up for these classes, look, you never know where life is going to take you. So what started out as party favors that I needed for some twilight parties back in the day at my job back in Arizona, uh, it's turned into a career for me. And I never have had the opportunity Excuse me. I've always been a creative person. I always make things for my friends and family. But I've never had the opportunity before to do it in a full time capacity. Uh, before I created my Etsy shop and everything, I really did not. I, I didn't really have a plan for anything. I was just enjoying myself and whatnot. But when we moved from Arizona, I completed my business degree. I um, set up a lot of marketing for various companies and things, uh, their social media platforms and stuff. I really wanted to, for the first time ever, make it um, not about me. I know that sounds really weird to say, but for me, I guess, because I've always um, I've helped take care of my sister. I have, um, you know, waited in the background while my husband got his degree and he pursued his career that he wanted to his path. And I focused on myself working, you know, at jobs to pay the bills uh, because, you know, it, we need to do that. Right. And then um, my degree, because it's taken me a long time to get the associates and my bachelor's degree for business. So all of that, I never thought that I would be doing this. So whatever your craft, your hobby is, you may not think, uh, you know, this is not going to turn into anything, but don't be ashamed of it. You know, fly that crafty banner high, baby, because, <laughs> you know, we all have something that we're meant to do in life. But we also all have things um, that make us passionate about our lives. Yeah, the, yeah, it's nothing much, but I want to make a few before I tell everyone, and this is true. I mean, you just, you don't be ashamed. Don't hide it. Um, you know, if it makes you happy and it's, it's something that is a positive thing for you, uh, tell people about it. I mean, I can understand maybe you want to date. But uh, be brave and share it because there's always going to be someone out there that's going to enjoy what you like. So now I said I was going to cut it off at 30 minutes and I'm almost to 35 minutes. So I guess I will let you all go because um, I know that this is probably not that interesting. But if you want to share this with your crafty creative friends, hopefully I won't have any more technical glitches because now I know that the phone is no bueno in the heat. It's, uh, what is it? Muy caliente. Too hot. It's very hot outside here in El Paso, so I won't be doing that again. Um, but yeah, if you want to come and participate, if you, if you are just crafting as a hobby, yeah, this is a place for you. It doesn't have to be about, you know, making this into a business. I will be posting a lot of content for those people who are like me, and they are Either they're in the, the process of transitioning from a hobby to a business, or maybe they're just interested in that process because I get those questions all the time. And then also when I have students in my classes, I refer them to my Sparkle by Monica channel all the time, but because um, they have 
uh, maybe specific questions that are, you know, not relative to jewelry making, but just crafting or hobbies in general with their business. Now I have a place that I can refer to them, a playlist, you know, well, here's everything about marketing tips for artists and whatnot. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. Um, again, this is not a competition with any of the other groups out there. So don't feel like uh, there's going to be drama here. There will not be here anyway. I hope that the other groups, I've actually reached out to a couple of the other groups to see if it's okay that I even post about my group with their crafty people in their groups, because I don't want to um, hijack a group or, or tr try to feel like I, I'm, um, you know, trying to sell this group or whatever, because I'm not doing that. They, they will have opportunities here to collaborate down the road if they ever want to. Um, keeping it positive though, but for the most part, this is a, a crafty place to enjoy. Oh, bye, my best friend in your thread. Thank you again so much, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for popping in every time I've tried to do this today, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. By the way, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your patience. <laughs> really, thank you for your patience. The um, the groups and everything that are going on with the support train and stuff, they're great. I mean, if you are participating in those, don't feel like you're hurting my feelings any if you want to keep doing that, but you don't want to be involved in this group. Um, if you do want to be involved in this group, then that's great, too. I love it. I am just looking to give a little bit of extra support, like I've said before in my previous videos, um, for people that might want a little bit more. And they are like I am in the handmade, crafty, creative kind of niche because we don't really get a lot of focus and attention on our tutorials and our art form, our hobbies, our crafts and things like that. So that's just another layer um, that I'm trying to offer because I do have experience of the professional and marketing type of experience, but then also I am making my handmade jewelry and I'm teaching classes. So I'm, and I'm a student in classes and things. So I kind of see things from all different sides and just kind of want to share that with you guys that might be interested in it. But I also do have things. crafticreators.com I have the members only forum so you can go in there you just sign in and you can talk about whatever craft you want I have them separated into categories so it's not all jumbled up for the video crafty creators please feel free to jump on there if you if you like Facebook groups you might not be into that I meant social media with the Twitter and the Instagram the crafty creators with a Z over there but we also do have an element that I, I want to make clear um that is well it's twofold actually it's just to have a fun t-shirt to wear or whatever kind of accessory you want because there's all kinds of accessories the uh, the merch if you click on the little tab at the handmadecraftycreators.com website it actually takes you to spreadshirt.com to finish your purchase that's where i created the graphics um that says Crafty Creators Throw Glitter, Not Shade. So if you're interested in that, feel free. I get a small percentage if you do purchase something over there. And that just helps me with whatever else I want to do with this group and offer up to you guys. As well as, you know, my other um, forays with my Sparkle by Monica channel. Because, you know, it kind of goes with me. It kind of goes hand in hand. Um, and then also to keep the website up because I did have to pay for the domain name. So, you know, if you're interested in that, the, the merch, there is a little donate button on there. That's just if you it's sort of like a tip jar. If you find this information valuable, if you are able to donate, um, it just links it up to my PayPal. So whatever you feel comfortable with, I think eventually on these little chat thingies, um, it, you might be able to do a super chat. I don't think here because my channel, this is such a new channel. I know at the Sparkle by Monica, it's available. They don't, you get a very little percentage of that super chat though. So, you know, whatever you feel like doing. And if you don't feel like doing anything or you're not able to do it, there's no pressure. So don't feel bad for it. whatever you want to do. I'm, I'm groovy, man. Groovy. So this is it. I'm leaving. It's a little bit after 40 minutes now. So I'm heading out. Um, thank you, best friend in your thread, for popping over to this crazy one. And I'm going to see what I, I can edit out of this if it lets me on the YouTube creator.
thing, but hopefully the rest of the streams will be a little bit smoother. Um, I can't, you know, if it's a YouTube glitch or a phone glitch, I can't fix that, but I can fix myself. So I'll improve that a little bit better. I hopefully will see you on next Wednesday for another wavelength Wednesday where you can actually get to talk if we don't have the, the glitches. Um, I'm glad I did this supply haul though, because at least I had a little bit of something to show you, even though it was a, a, just a tad messed up here today, but I hope you have a great day. Um, Pass the word to your friends. Thank you so much, Crafty Mommy 85, for shouting out Sparkle by Monica and the Crafty Creators channel. I really did appreciate that. I meant to say that at the very beginning when but I had all the crazy glitches. So thank you for doing that. Um, I will be visiting your all's channels. Eventually, I'm going to create a segment where I do like a channel review type of scenario. So we'll maybe talk about that next week on Wednesday and I'll post a schedule up if I have a lot of feedback you know with various times or whatever otherwise I'll just go ahead and pick a schedule and, and put that on there if there's anything that I have forgotten to cover today I do apologize just because this is a an open forum type thing for wavelength Wednesdays it's a little bit all over the place but um, I hope you have a great day Thank you so much for stopping by. If you weren't able to be here live, please give me a thumbs up once you watch this crazy business <laughs> and leave me a comment. Let me know what you might want to talk about. Uh, if you have anything you want to talk about and you haven't been here live and you want to drop that in the comments, feel free to do so. Um, that's it. That's all I have to say. Have a sparkling day, y'all. Bye. I'm going to see if I can end this stream here without anything blowing up on me.